career opportunities, guest speakers, and amazing fun. The annual Contra Costa Youth Summit, sponsored by District 5 Supervisor Federal Glover, is always a great success. The Youth Summit brings hundreds of high school and middle school students from all over Contra Costa County together for exciting workshops, offering physical activities, career development, life skills, and more. Live performances entertain participants during lunch hour, as well as sumo wrestling, jumpies, airbrush tattoos, and even rock climbing. This year's Youth Summit will be held April 24th at Los Badanos College from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. for youth 6th through 12th grade. So bring your friends and have a great time. For more information, contact Tanya Smith at 925-427-8138 or visit myspace.com forward slash youth summit 2010. Supervisor Glover's Youth Summit gets bigger and better every year, so don't miss out. Old Town Pittsburgh, center of both commerce and celebration of art, music, and cuisine. Start your engine for the 7th Annual Car Show. Got a cool car? Bring it on down. Thursday night from 6 to 8 p.m. through the end of September. No entry fees. Live music, food, people, and plenty of cars. Bring your friends and family. Exit Railroad Avenue from Highway 4 and head toward the water. East Contra Costa County's destination downtown. Be part of something big. Gangs are trying to establish themselves in East County, and they want our kids to join them. Together, we could stop them. Join us at Supervisor Federal Glover's 2010 Gang Summit for information on gang prevention. Social workers, police officers, teachers, parents, and youth will come together at Deer Valley on October 9th from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. for a day of lively, interactive workshops, powerful speeches, and music. Step up to stop gangs now. The first ever high school student mock primary election was held right here at Pittsburgh High School. It was a hands-on experience for students by students. Pittsburgh High School Principal Todd Whitmire, Pittsburgh High School teachers Colleen Call and Eric Grady, with the help of other staff and students, put together the primary mock election for all of the school's seniors. A learning experience to last a lifetime. Mock primary election day finally arrived and it was a long yet exciting day here at the Pittsburgh High School Gymnasium. Bright and early, students set up the poll booth and machines, preparing the official mock primary election. One of the students that was sworn in at the county clerk's office swore in the rest of the student poll workers. Then it was official. Set up and ready to go, the first set of Pittsburgh High School seniors made their way into the gym. After signing in by dropping off the registration form, the students took their ballots over to the polling station and voted. On the ballot, students voted for should junk food be taxed? Should Pittsburgh High School require school uniforms? And a candidate for California governor. After marking their votes, they placed their ballot into the polling machine. Then, they were asked to take an exit poll about who and what they voted for and why. Okay, my name is Colleen Cole. I'm an American government teacher here at Pittsburgh High School. I actually served on the Concord City Council with Steve Weir quite some time ago, and he's the one that introduced this whole idea to me and said, what about having a student mock election here at Pittsburgh High School? So immediately I talked about it in class to several of the students and they expressed genuine, real interest. From that point forward, the students started getting the whole effort organized. And you see the what came to fruition today. All these students worked they organized it, and as I said, I think there's a total of almost 266 ballots that were actually cast, and it was just a wonderful, wonderful opportunity, extremely memorable, and I know that we have a lot of future civic-minded voters, and thank you, the County Election Department, for all your efforts. Every vote counts, so vote now. 